supra clavicular fossa. This is the first rib supra. Uh, this is uh, brachial plexus, subclavian artery, and see here the trunks of the brachial plexus. But here you can see this is like a hypocool crown structure, is like a root or a trunk of the brachial plexus. But a real, if I go to color dollar, you can see this is pulsating. This is maybe dorsoscular artery or subascular artery. I go to the double. Dobler. While if I go just medially to the to the trunk, one of the trunk is the same shape. See flat. Here, it take the same shape. It take the same shape of the of the trunk and the comp. Not compression, but was still pulsating. Okay. Now this is the sheath of the brachial plexus. This is the first rib, acoustic shadow of the first rib and second rib and heart rib. Not the face my patient. I now start the block. This is the needle. I'm far away from the results. Right, one cc. Wait, spread. One cc. Spread. Yeah. Object, object, object. Wait. Spread. Object. So wait. Now I will go above above the artery and close is the artery good spread eject wait spread eject <coughs> eject 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 now this is the back of the system come in Wait, spread, inject. I have no heart. No heart, sorry. Okay, finished. Finished. Now, no, 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 no. So this is the brachial plexus done, but should be differentiate between the uh, vascular structure and the trunk. Would take the same, the same shape of the, the trunk in this patient to avoid any intravascular injection and lead to complication of the patient. Now this is the brachial plexus. We are away from the vessel. Thank you.